Welcome back to Kemp Oak Farm. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Today is the day for a catch, clean, cook of our Cornish Cross chickens. I think the thing I like most about processing day is it's a big family affair. <laughs> my son comes down, his fiance, uh, my wife's out here, Jessica, the grandbabies, everybody comes over and participates in chicken processing day. Uh, we try to do this twice a year. I try to do like 50 birds at a time. That way we're not really overloaded and it doesn't take us too awful long. Now these birds, we won't be uh, doing whole because we still have whole birds left over from last batch. But uh, tomorrow I'll be uh, cutting these all up into portions, uh, boneless breast, leg quarters, wings, and all that. And it's, it's really cool over the last few years of doing this, everybody sort of has their own station. Everybody does what they like to do and it just works out great. I stay right here. This is sort of my little deal. I like this part. It's really weird, but I do. I don't mind it. Uh, my son and Travis both, I think they both like plucking and all that stuff. And so they just bounce around back and forth. So I just sort of sit here and knock this part out. Now, if I do get behind, which I do, uh, Travis will jump in and uh, get me caught back up and it just keeps a little assembly line rolling. Now, I haven't weighed these birds, but I know it's loud behind me, but look at the size of these things. They're just, in eight weeks, we raise these for eight weeks. I know a lot of people know about these Cornish Cross, uh, but they're just amazing birds. I love them. The breast on those things are just huge. I'll de-breast them. Uh, we'll take the skin off, de-breast them. I like the light, uh, leg and thigh quarter. That's actually one of my favorites. I love to smoke that with barbecue and of course the wings. Uh, just a fantastic bird. <laughs> <laughs> put the plastic on them and uh, keep them from getting water all in the fridge because we're just going to throw them in our downstairs refrigerator uh, to sit overnight and then tomorrow we'll cut them all up into individual pieces. Well, I know it's kind of dark down here. Uh, we're downstairs now. It's the next day. I wanted to show you guys all these chickens. Look at that. <laughs> All right, I'm about to go upstairs. I'm gonna load up the coolers and uh, just spend the afternoon cutting these things down, breaking them down into breast, uh, leg quarters, and wings. Super easy. I'll show you guys how I uh, quarter these up. It's really, really simple. Well, it's really pretty simple. You take your chicken. I'd like to try to get the wing off first. Then I go for the second wing. I turn it over with the breast side up. 
and I take the, the stye and sort of stretch it out and get that skin stretched. I'll come in and just cut that best I can. You got a ball and socket, you'll pop that, go right down the thigh, turn it around, stretch that skin, pop that ball and socket out. Now I take the skin off. Uh, my wife likes the skin, I don't. And so I just try to, it just, I like the skin off. There's a little breastplate right there. I follow right down that breastplate and separate the breast from the plate. Just sort of walk it all the way down. You'll get open and there'll be another little piece right here. You just cut that off that. Have you a nice big breast. You can do the same on the other side. think that you could take this and uh, use it. I know you ladies know better than me, but you could use this as a broth. You can boil these down, use it for all sorts of things. Uh, and today we will not be doing that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, we got our chickens caught, cleaned, <laughs> and now we're going to cook them. These things are going to be awesome. We love our Cornish cross chickens. Uh, the cleaning and all that was super easy. We got it down to a science now. And the cooking part is even easier. Uh, we cook ours a lot of different ways, of course. But what I'm cooking today is uh, a chicken thigh leg uh, quarter. Let me show you. These are the thigh leg quarters uh, that uh, came off a few birds. Uh, we're going, we got some family coming over, so we're cooking a bunch of them. Uh, this is super easy. Uh, normally, I cook with just a... I mean just a smidge of apple juice just to cover the bottom. Uh, I don't have any apple juice today. I forgot to get some, but I'm going to use a cranberry juice. I think that'll be real good too. I love cranberry juice. So I'm just going to use a little bit of cranberry juice. We're going to smother them in barbecue. We're going to put them on our uh, smoker. All right, we're just going to use just a little enough to really just uh, cover the pan a little bit and keep some moisture in there. Once you move that around, it'll cover up the bottom real good. And then next is just a sweet baby rays. That's one of our favorite barbecue sauces. We'll just cover our chicken. We're running out. Next, we'll wrap them in some aluminum foil. All right, that's it. You could cook this in the oven the exact same way, uh, but it's just such a beautiful day. I got all this hickory wood. I love smoking all my meat. <laughs> so we're just gonna put this on the smoker uh, at about 270 to 300 for four to five hours, just depending on when I pull it off, and it's gonna be fantastic. All right, well, it couldn't be no better. Between 270 and 300 is what our goal temp is on this side box smoker. Got it full of hickory. Not full, just one. Hour. That's all we basically need. All our hickory stacked up ready and waiting. <laughs> we'll cook about four, Maybe five hours, just depending. I got some other stuff going on that I'm running around the farm doing. So four hours, it's usually about done. Five hours to guarantee it's gonna be done. How about that? <laughs> We're gonna to attempt to close this video out. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the chicken that come off the smoker. It, I'm sure it turned out really good. I haven't even opened it yet. But we have our little taste tester here with us. You ready to try some chicken? Yeah! <laughs> Here comes the other ones. Let's open it up and see how it tastes. Oh, we got three taste testers. Ooh, hold on. That is hot. We may have to wait. We may have to wait and test that. I'm going to pour the juice off. 
I poured the juice off, but look at that. I mean, the bone would literally, would literally just fall out. It looks so good. Let's see how the other one turned out. Ooh, nice. Cooking in that juice. Y'all ready for some chicken? Yeah. Got some beans, coleslaw, biscuits. Uh, uh, I'm really Somebody's yucky. Home. I hope I'm going to play this yucky. I wanted to show you guys how tender this turns out. I mean, look at that. It flakes off like fish. It's really crazy. Just crazy. I love slow cooking anything. All right. All right, this is what we just picked off. We blew it real good. We're going to give it a taste. You want to take a taste? See what it tastes like? Mmm. <laughs> is it yummy? Yeah. Yeah. This is not bad. <laughs> this is not bad, huh? Well, I could. Just wipe your hands on your shirt. We're going to get barbecue going here, ain't we? Yeah. You ready for some barbecue sauce? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> it really does turn out good. It, I, we just love raising our own chickens. There's nothing better. It's a little work. At first, it's really not all that much work. But as they get bigger towards those last few weeks, when they're really eating a lot, really drinking a lot, and they're really pooping a lot, <laughs> you got to move those spins. It becomes a little chore, uh, but the reward is it's, it's just awesome. I, we love growing our own food as much as we can. Uh, we're pretty much self-sufficient when it comes to our meat. Uh, we haven't bought meat in I don't know when. We're really, really slacking in the garden department, but the meat, uh, it, it's always coming on. And it's good, you want some more? Yeah. That's the skin, you like the barbecue skin? Yeah. Oh, yummy. And he likes the skin. Papa don't eat the skin. <laughs> I give it to Kim. All right, well, there you go. You ready to make a plate? Love you guys to death. I really appreciate you checking out my video. Eat it, buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love you guys to death. We'll see you on the next video. Huh? Don't do that. <laughs>